Hi guys, welcome to part 6 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. It's never a shame to ask for help, quite the opposite. I closed my last part not knowing what to do with this wreck, this Galeon wreck here. But now, thanks to your suggestions, I know exactly what to do with it. Thank you guys. It's a Galleon wreck that took me almost a week to model it, 3D print it and then paint it. And wherever I tried to place it, it was completely blocking every point of view and I had no space at all for it. I also know that this is a Galleon that is not the preferred ship for Vikings and this is a Viking fishing village. Yes, but a colony somewhere around the world and the Vikings could most probably be influenced by Southern Europe uh, way of modeling ships and so this could also be a Viking ship, a wreck of a Viking ship from the age where Vikings were fighting peoples. Now, what to do with it? You suggested, why don't you do an island on the left side? And that's what I will be doing in the next moments, okay? So guys, an island, yes, but on the left side, I hadn't that much space left. So here, I don't know if you can see me, baby, yes, my, um, no, I, you don't see it, so I will turn the camera a little more. So the layout uh, was finishing here, in this point here, and I added these 20 more centimeters here that you got seeing here, that allow me to use the last of the uh, octagonal buildings, the last one, the blue octagonal building, but also give me some space here to make the suggested island with something more, obviously not a simple island. I could never do such a thing. So I will make in the next uh, moments, in the next minutes, in the next hours, I don't know, an island there to put the wreck on proximity of it, maybe on the beach of it. Let me go towards this other camera. Here I am coming, trying not to make everything crash. So I will do that island to accommodate this little of wreck here. Not lady little, but because if I take the full length, it will be this, this uh, long. Uh, here and then and then I will try also to make something hybrid not as an engine <laughs> hybrid but I'm modeling and 3d printing a lot maybe it is possible to have models that can mix styrofoam and 3d printing props together in order to get something hybrid, okay? So I will do another stage. You will see two stages for the carnival section there, but one is already done. It took me all the week to do it. And one, I will build it from scratch using styrofoam and also some 3D printed parts of it. Let's try if they can fit together. But now let's go to do the island you suggested.
you know that if I wanted to accommodate on the new layout all the figurines I have developed for my last season three ring circus without using a circus or a tent a circus I will have to use many many stages and I need to use those stages in the park slash carnival slash circus section a lot of them plenty of them the first one you have already seen it on the layout last part during last part a second one will be a surprise for the final recap i worked on it all the week the third one for me the second one for you will be something i will try to do right now trying to put it together styrofoam and 3d printed parts an hybrid or hybrid stage i'm aware that i have 3d printed a lot but it was a necessity because mar the market doesn't give me what I need for my Christmas village. And making everything with my hands is so time consuming that I risk to complete my Christmas village by March 2024, maybe. Simply because I want something different this season. That said, let's try to integrate this little panel here. It is my standard extruded 9mm thick styrofoam with some 3D parts that are still printing right now because it is a last minute design. 5 hours to print, I think 20 or 30 minutes left to finish the 3D printing process. Let's try to do something here with this styrofoam here. I don't know where is the part I want to use. Let's say this one. And let's say I want a piece of styrofoam of 10 by 11.
picture I could see if I just close my eyes Have the foresight to believe Time don't move backwards, it speeds me to the future fearlessly Charging forward when I open my mouth Though I may not know how Okay, now, here I have some pieces of extruded styrofoam, yellow in this case, of one centimeter per one centimeter per 1.8 centimeters, okay? And those will be the legs of this mini stage here. But first, I will need to do the exact same thing I did for the stage, simulate wood. Now, top or bottom, this is top, this is bottom. Super glue. Okay, this one can be opened.
Finally, the 3D printer and the, the, the printing process, and I obtained these two pieces there. Obviously, I had to remove the supers, clean them, and then cure them very quickly, but we are not here for that. They are identical, except for the curtains there, okay? So, if I wanted to use this stage with some curtains like that, I will go and do like this. Or if I simply wanted to use some uh, stuff and uh, some poles and then some U-shaped, U-shaped or M-shaped uh, supports, I can use them like that. But uh, this for me is too naked. I knew that but I wanted to give a try anyway. A too poor stage. But if I use this one with the curtains, it may work. Okay, guys? Let me change my air glasses and let me try to fix this with a couple of holes and some epoxy glue. Okay, I think in five minutes this will be done. Now next I will need to paint it, etc. But it's for next time, guys. Now I think it's time for my final recap. And this is the stage number two. Okay, and. Uh, See you for the final recap. Final recap of part six of the 2023 series. And I'm gonna start once again from the main square of the Viking fishing village. I've printed and painted many more supports, many more platforms. So now I can show you uh, a little more detail of what I wanted to achieve there. Here. I will leave this space here as a water in the middle here i will add everything will happen in the main square by the way before adding the second layer the third layer all the platforms all the super platform are this color here this is simply primed and then one uh, brown color the others are uh, with three three more uh, layers of uh, color uh, light brown, some grayish, and then some white. Now the connection can be done up, 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 up there with some turn to the yellow building there. And this is not village, this is my pen, forget it. Uh, and this is how I want. Maybe I will add some more there and here to something going in the middle. It's too empty, but I don't want something tall there. I just want something to make alive the village, to make it live. Okay, alive, not live, al alive. Okay, then let's go to the other part. Oops, I still have <laughs> the golden eagle on the docks there. Let's go like that. 
even this has been painted with the colors with white etc and i still have a piece of styro from there i will uh, eliminate it in the near future the island guys this is the result of the island you suggested to do in that exact same spot last but in part five i had this building there the last octagonal building there but now i have the island i've you have already seen me doing it but i will explain i digged some space into the four centimeters styro from there in order to have the wreck under the water because here i will have the water and then also a little uh, into the ground into the seabed like that in order to have it pff, uh, pointing towards the island from a piece of styrofoam to this island here guys using my uh, ceramic powder and some water then three three layers or four layers of painting the tree the dead tree was my addition to the island guys because once i think uh, this is uh, screaming help 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 please towards the mainland even if it is a dead tree because uh, i know I, i'm scary right now because all the ghosts from the wreck there are into the tree guys and now the tree is haunted <laughs> i'm joking no but like that it, it seems like a person there screaming help me help me from the top of the the island and then the wreck there and it is not ruining the point of view guys because i will have the point of view there i will i still can see the ferry wheel there but now it's all visible from every angle i will show you with details uh, when doing the final video uh, the bridge etc i added some vegetation the sand is still need still needed to dry two or more days here i will have some joining to the mainland for the last octagonal building it doesn't have to get connected to the other buildings but this is some kind of an observatory outpost the tallest of all the octagonal buildings you can live inside and uh, do some watch guard uh, into the distance it is to thanks you for your suggestion I don't know if this is what you had in mind as an, an island or oh, of course I also had the two real little rocks there because it helped me shaping here and there uh, the waves have shaped the, the island the waves and the tide have shaped everything you know that I wanted something like rounded there with the water washing like that <laughs> sorry I'm so uh, damp right now this is a hole made by a cannonball guys it's good it's suited I think this is my way of uh, thinking and seeing an island as you suggested and it is hard rock right now with the ceramic powder I will not be able to remove the tree from there so uh, for next time it will be wasted I don't know and the vegetation is there uh, etc it will have a, a total completely total uh, different look once the ocean will be done but I still need to print some more platform here and there and then to hide every and single one of the wires and the cables before doing that as i said i think be in september it will be in done okay uh, now let's go towards the other side i can give you a peek of what will come next to you there guys <laughs> very quickly let's go in details i added that stage there 
it took me all the week, five, six days to model it, to fail printing it, and I will explain to you, and then the other stage there. I've managed to get, uh, and the point of view from this angle here will be this one. Okay, guys, still a secret what will be in the middle there. I've already printed it. Shh, don't tell anyone. Please don't tell anyone. Uh, the fountain is not working. I've uh, uh, removed all the water because I don't want the water to spill during the season, but it is functional as you have seen it working. I've uh, uh, um, slided a little bit the fences there because now I think it's better to admire the, uh, the obelisk there. Uh, in this way, people, let me go closer. Okay. This was inverted. This part here was inverted. These uh, four um, elements uh, fence was on the other side and then here and then a little uh, towards the uh, out there. No, I, I thought maybe it's better like this. this. And if people want to see the obelisk from a near view, they can approach the obelisk and get a close look to the obelisk, etc, etc. The new stage, guys, I added is this one. Now everything is fixed. Obviously, I needed to paint everything in gold here, the stuff in gold, then the curtains in red, obviously red, and some um, two layers, uh, two different layers of brown for the stage there. And maybe I will add also a little three steps here to get towards the stage. And it is suited for a figurine, nothing more than a figurine, because two figurines will not do. But hey guys, not all the performers were rich enough to have a big giant uh, stages. Uh, this is a travel stage. That one is maybe sorry i was saying maybe that uh, um, that the stage was provided by uh, the county as a way to promote the festival the circus slash carnival festival guys and if you wanted to get a look there guys hope you can see it yes that is the new stage. I will take the camera and move it a little more towards the right. It's an important stage, guys. Uh, it's an itinerant stage, as plenty of them would have been in that, in that time. Okay, guys. Uh, it is on wheels, obviously and it is pulled by uh, horses and this was a real a real a real nightmare to get it printed firstly i thought yes i love this design i will go with that design with some uh, front here to act there there oops it's out of focus let me go like that okay sorry guys it was out of focus uh in this case with wheels etc as i told you and a little front here to perform then some something else there and then also a backstage there i wanted a backstage like that but this is multiple pieces guys one to the roof, the wheels, the front, and the stairs. But it failed three times, guys. The first time I got absolutely nothing attached to the to the supports. Second time, guys, I got this, and you can see the fact that 
it was misprinting this part here completely missing the curtain that you have here okay you have the plain curtain there okay and so this was the second misprint the failure to the print there sorry the focus okay now it is a plain focus out of focus was disabled guys and also some problems here with the backstage there not completely uh, in the wood there and here instead you got completely the uh, it was a question of uh, of uh, um, printing and it has been printed this way there but it was lacking support because it's like having this part here completely in the wind and not supported by anything if you print that and the third time was even worse i tried to correct this little section here adding some more supports during the trip the printing and not and changing nothing but instead it was worse because i completely lack this wall here and then the curtain the back curtain completely misprinted there so waste one waste two waste three three time i was almost there guys i was almost uh, uh, at the at the end and decided to modify once again everything every single model then finally the fourth time it printed and then the other pieces were like a piece of cakes <laughs> to 3d print then some gold and some red and blue and there this is another it's narrower than that stage there but uh, some figurines here can perform here in the front and even in the back some smallest figurines this is another important stage this is what i wanted an itinerant stage this is property of the county maybe this it's property of the performer uh, it's a poor stage sorry guys but it's a poor stage this is for someone who is very important and has his proper stage a very important attraction okay the back curtain there is pale blue etc okay and then the roof very difficult to achieve very difficult uh i'm it took me two and a half nights to model this yes and then all the rest of the days was uh faded printing faded printing faded printing faded print Oof, but it is done it is done i don't know what you think about this new stage here blah, 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 with the stairs getting inside everything and I will add some more uh, stages, not as complex as this one, maybe uh, not some other version of the poor stage. I don't know right now because I don't know what I will be doing tomorrow. Okay, and ta-da! I'm not saying anything. So, I think... Uh, that's all guys for this final recap a quick look once again it's taking time but it's getting where i want this to go this will be the most important section because it will be uh, a nightmare version do to <laughs> nightmare to to complete every single stage to get it more interesting to add some new Carnival slash circus figurines I've already modeled. And here I have a space for something not very tall, as I told you. Final look to the island you suggested, guys. And then see you for the outro. The stage for the rich and the stage for the poor. Life isn't fair nowadays even more in Victorian times. But now I have two more stages to accommodate all the performers that will populate the park, the mysterious, the scary park in the next months. But most of all, thanks to your suggestions, 
I don't feel anymore to have wasted the time and other things on a galleon wreck that was completely unsuited to, for my layout until uh, part 5, until last week. But now, you suggested me to add an island and I will show you once again for the last time the star of this part 6 because it is the star of part 6 the island and that I modeled on the flow like that without thinking, without the modeling, without planning anything just on the feeling like that starting for from uh, an old piece of uh, uh, styrofoam, then modeled it, then added uh, some of my ceramic powder in order to give it the impression of an island, of a uh, rock in front of the coastline in the middle of the ocean with his little sand beach where Galleon is still there, where a wreck of a Galleon is there, remembering of thing past. Sorry, a citation from my old uh, school time, a very, very beautiful uh, poem. Okay, let's continue guys, let's go to the other camera, I'm so dumb sometimes, because uh, it's taking time this year to make everything goes where it needs to go, but right now I feel I have the time to 3D print the rest of the platforms and proceed with that. I sincerely don't know what I will show you next time in part 7 because it's only Sunday, I still have plenty of time to worry about it. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give a big huge thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing as you have just seen my awful and hear my very awful English and see you next time only if you wish bye guys